hello guys uh, this is ankush so today we are going to cover the three important topic and which you are seeing in your daily dba life so the first one is how to unlock the user account second one we will be seeing what kind of the action needs to be taken when the account is locked and expire and third one uh, we will be seeing uh, how to take the backup of the password user account password so let's start with our first point how to unlock the user account i'm opening the putty here let me set my environment okay the name of the database is prod db i'm connecting with the sql plus let me check whether the database is up and running okay so here we can see the name of the database is a prod db and it is up and running okay fine that's a good sign for us so the first one is how to unlock the user account what we will do we will first check how many users are there available in this particular database so the command is select name uh, sorry we will go with the username account underscore status and we will check the profile as well from db underscore users okay so here we can see there are 37 rows selected so it means to say 37 users are available but the formatting is not looking good so we will make it good okay so now it is looking fine so we have u1 a lot of users are there around 37 users are there but we will be discussing about the dbsnmp so this is the most important user account in perspective of the monitoring of the database so whenever uh, if we have if you have oem configured in your organization for the monitoring of the database so in that case dbsnmp user account is playing an important role so if you found uh, that the monitoring is disabled for any particular database and you have the OEM configured over there then in that case first action needs to be taken that we you need to check the DBSN, DBSNMP account status whether it is locked or if it is open then no issue so this is what we are doing but now in my scenario what I am seeing the DBSNMP is already open and the profile is monitoring underscore profile so to simulate the issue what we need to do we need to change the status from open to lock then and only then we can see how to unlock the account so let's start with alter user dbsnmp account lock okay let's check the dbsnmp status select username account underscore status profile from dba underscore users where username equals to dbsnmp make sure your username should be in capital because if you are seeing if you are putting the username in the small letter it won't take so now here you can see the account status is locked previously it was in an open state so we have simulated the issue now the first thing which we need to see how to unlock the user account so if you found any issue saying uh, that user account is locked so in that case what we need to do let's see alter user dbsnmp account unlock okay so as per this statement we have unlocked the account let's check the status okay so here you can see now the account status is open 
so whenever the user dbsnmp will try to connect to the database it will allow to connect to the database let's uh, what we will do we will also cross check whether it is uh, connecting to the database with the help of dbsnmp user so current user is sys okay now i am connected with the sys user what i will do i will connect it uh, so currently i don't know what is the password of the dbsnmp so what i will do i will change the password alter user dbsnmp identified by password tm hash okay okay so the password for the dbsnmp is tm hash 1234 now i am connecting connecting dbsnmp password is temp hash 1234 okay check the current user see here you can see the current user is dbsnmp so we have covered the first topic how to unlock the user account second thing is action needs to be taken when the account is locked and expired okay so we will be going with the second topic so again we need to connect with the our sys user no need to mention the password okay so the current user is sys now we need to simulate the issue see if you are checking this current status now it is showing as is open but to go with the second scenario we need to change the status of the account underscore status of the dbsnmp in lock and expire so to simulate the issue we will do like this password okay there is some issue okay now if you are checking the status of the dbsnmp you will see as a expired and lock in such scenario what we need to do see whenever uh, why the expired is coming uh, if you said the password the uh, expiry date as a 365 day it means to say your password should be there for the 365 day and you should get the prompt uh, after 366 day that uh, you need to change the password before 366 day so in that case your password will be expired and you need to change the password in so let's we will uh, let's go to change the password of the dbs and mp okay so first the thing is we will work on the lock and then we will go with the expert okay alter user dbsnmp account unlock okay you you see here you i have unlocked the account let's check the status now see now locked has been removed and only the expired is there so now we will be working on the expired account status in that case what you need to do we need to change the password of the dbsnmp user alter user dbsnmp account identified by Ten hash one two three four. Okay, we have changed the password of the DBS and MP account. Let's check the status now. See here. So from the in scenario, what we got to know, whenever the password is locked, we need to unlock the account. When the password is expired, we need to change the password of the user account. 
okay so now we are going to cover our third topic about how to take the backup of the existence password so um, why we are coming with this situation many times we are getting uh, the situation or uh, we will be getting the service request from the application side saying that they need to reset the password of the account so the best practice and uh, the best practice is to take the backup of the existing password why we are saying like whenever we are changing the password there can be a situation where this password is dependent somewhere and if you are changing the password the functionality of that particular uh, application will be stopped so to our overcome this issue and for the safer side it's better to have a password of the existence ac account and then we can reset the password if there is no issue then no problem so let's check how we can take the backup of the user account select password from user dollar where name equals to dbsnmp okay so this is the password what we have got but if you are checking this is not the right password this is the encrypted form of the password uh, oracle is having their own algorithm whenever we are creating a new user and providing the password this password will be encrypted they will convert the uh, uh, password into their encrypted format so if you are trying to connect with the password with this password then it won't work let's try here connect dbsnmp and this password see it is showing as an invalid username and password so this password will not work again we, are, we need to connect with the sys sysdb ok now I am connected with the sys user let's uh, so we have currently the password of the sys user uh, sorry we have the password of the dbsnmp user now what i will do i will change the password of the dbsnmp dbsnmp user alter user identified by alter user dbsnmp sorry dbsnmp identified by password is like ank hash 34 okay okay i have changed the password of the dbsnmp in this format let's check the encrypted format see here you can see the different password for as i mentioned the password as a temp hash 1234 here you can see the different encrypted password now my situation is i want to change the password which was earlier okay so in that case we can use this encrypted password alter user system dbsnmt identified by values okay this is the important okay this should be in quote mark because it's a value okay if i am trying to connect to the dbsn be here it won't work in that case what we need to do it should be work in another terminal sql plus as is dba connect dbsnmp with the old password because we have reverted to the original password see now i am able to connect with the old password i hope you guys like this video and understood what i want to say to you i hope i am clear with the ideas uh, and the concept if you like this video please subscribe my channel click on the like button thank you so much if you want any suggestion from my side if you want to share 
some more videos you can write in a comment box thank you so much bye bye